Gaspar, a solitary caretaker in a prestigious restaurant, spends his night surrounded by the echo of memories and old melodies. His routine is disrupted when a mysterious young woman repeatedly appears at the restaurant's window, bringing with her a past filled with secrets and suffering. Gaspar's journey in search of answers and redemption intertwines with this young woman's story, leading them to an unexpected encounter that will change their lives forever. Hello, my friends. I am Linda, and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Gaspar was a man with a friendly smile, whose life unfolded in the nocturnal shadows of a renowned restaurant. While the world slept, he took on the role of a solitary caretaker, charged with restoring the luster of the dining room that bore witness to exquisite meals and the talents of well-known chefs. During the intervals of polishing and cleaning, Gaspar sought refuge in his trusty radio, which filled the space with old songs, transporting him to memories of simpler times. The years had passed over Gaspar, leaving marks of experiences and regrets on his heart. He had never been able to adequately plan for his retirement, making him dependent on work even at an advanced age. He was aware of his financial failings and the mistakes of the past that haunted him. However, despite everything, Gaspar carried with him a resigned serenity. He accepted responsibility for his past choices, even if he wasn't proud of them. In the empty corridors of the restaurant, Gaspar found peace. There, among the empty tables and abandoned pots, he reconciled with himself. As his work shift progressed, he strove to fix what he could and find a greater purpose in his daily activities. On a quiet night, while Gaspar was devoted to his nighttime work, a chilling sensation ran down his spine. As he looked through the large glass window facing the restaurant's facade, he noticed a mysterious presence observing him. The face, obscured by shadows, was strange and unknown to him. A shiver ran down his spine when their gazes met. Before Gaspar could react or even understand what was happening, the enigmatic figure disappeared into the dark streets of the city. His mind was unsettled and a sense of discomfort enveloped him. Who was that person? Why were they watching him? Determined to carry on with his responsibilities, Gaspar tried to put the disturbing incident behind him. The next night, the same mysterious figure reappeared. With his heart racing, Gaspar decided to confront the mystery that haunted him. That night, as he approached the window, he saw the mysterious figure once again. However, this time, something had changed. The person did not flee, remaining motionless before his curious eyes. With a mix of apprehension and compassion, Gaspar noticed that the figure was a young woman, with a tired expression and a vacant look that seemed to reflect years of suffering. The thinness of the young woman betrayed a difficult life, full of hardships. Not knowing what to do, Gaspar decided to approach her slowly, hoping not to startle her. Carefully, he offered a sympathetic look and extended his hand in a gesture of compassion. Amid the silence, their eyes met, and Gaspar felt an instant connection with the unknown young woman. Without saying a word, the young woman let her guard down, allowing Gaspar to see beyond the surface of her worn appearance. There, in that moment, he saw the pain and desolation. Determined to help that lost soul, Gaspar extended his hand and offered a gentle invitation to enter the restaurant. Little did he know that this encounter would change their lives forever. It was a dark and stormy night, with relentless rain battering the city. As Gaspar carried out his nightly tasks, he spotted the young, drenched and hungry figure outside the restaurant. His heart ached as he realised the vulnerability and need of that lonely soul. Gaspar opened the door and invited the young woman in, offering her shelter and warmth in the cosy ambience of the restaurant. The wind howled outside while the rain streamed down her wet hair, accentuating her fragility. Looking at the young woman, he noticed she seemed to be the same age as his granddaughter. Determined to help, he went to an old lost and found box in the restaurant, where they stored items forgotten by customers over the years. Among the forgotten items in the restaurant, Gaspar found some coats that could now warm the young woman's trembling body. Although the young woman remained silent, the distrustful look she cast at Gaspar revealed the emotional scars she carried. It was as if life had already caused her so much pain that the kindness of others seemed impossible to reach. As the night progressed, the connection between Gaspar and the young woman grew stronger, Behind the unspoken words, they shared a mutual understanding, 
knowing that together they could find a path to healing and redemption. While the young woman stayed silent, Gaspar felt his heart fill with compassion at the hunger that consumed her. With care and gentleness, he prepared a hearty plate of food, offering it to the young woman who accepted it promptly without hesitation. With an expression of gratitude in her eyes, the young woman surrendered to that meal. She devoured every piece with eagerness, as if she had not enjoyed a decent meal in a long time. The moments of silence were filled only by the sound of the rain outside and the soft noises of cutlery touching the plate. Understanding the young woman's need for a safe refuge, Gaspar offered the staff's changing room as a place where she could rest. There, a comfortable sofa was transformed into an improvised bed, providing her with a well-deserved rest. While the young woman slept, Gaspar continued his night duties, but his thoughts remained focused on the story of that solitary soul. How could someone so young have reached such a deep state of abandonment? With the sun starting to rise, Gaspar knew that the young woman's time in his improvised refuge had come to an end. The restaurant staff would soon arrive for another day of work, preparing the kitchen and the food for lunch. Moreover, Gaspar's shift was about to end. With a mix of apprehension and hope, Gaspar headed to the changing room, ready to say goodbye to the young woman and perhaps offer her some additional support. However, upon opening the door, a wave of surprise hit him. The space was empty, with no sign of the young woman who had occupied that place just a short time ago. With a resigned sigh, Gaspar realised that his journey with that young woman was still incomplete. He did not know her name, nor the details of her story, but her memory would remain in his heart as a constant reminder that we all face our own battles. Gaspar's day off turned into an extension of his worries about the unknown young woman. Even while at home, his mind was full of questions about her fate. As the night progressed and darkness enveloped the city, Gaspar felt increasingly restless. Worry pushed him to take action. He decided to go out and walk through the streets near the restaurant, hoping to find some sign of the young woman. Gaspar walked through the empty streets, carefully observing each unfamiliar face that crossed his path. His heart beat faster, filled with hope and apprehension. Despite his tireless efforts, he found no sign of the young woman, not even a clue of her whereabouts. Anxiety took hold of Gaspar as the workday approached. His mind clung to the hope that, that night, the mysterious young woman would reappear in the restaurant's window. He longed for an opportunity to help her and learn more about her story. Upon arriving at the restaurant, Gaspar felt a mix of emotions, hope, anticipation and a dose of uncertainty. As he carried out his nightly duties, his eyes repeatedly turned to the window, hoping to see the familiar silhouette of the young woman. A feeling of joy and relief enveloped Gaspar when, finally, the mysterious young woman appeared again in the restaurant's window. Without hesitation, Gaspar opened the door and offered the young woman safe shelter in the restaurant. With a gentle smile, he invited her in, promising a warm meal and a place to rest. With care and attention, Gaspar prepared a dish with the food that had been carefully crafted by the restaurant's chefs and left for him each night. Sitting in a quiet corner of the restaurant, the young woman decided to open her heart. Her words flowed slowly, laden with emotion and scars from the past. She spoke about her journey of struggles and challenges that led her to the streets. She revealed the difficulties she faced, the pains she endured and the dreams that were forgotten. Maya. The name softly echoed in the air as the young woman finally introduced herself to Gaspar. With her voice choked with painful memories, she revealed to Gaspar her devastating journey over the past five years. She shared that, since losing her mother to cancer, she and her father, once close, had been consumed by grief and absence. The family that once consisted of three members fell apart, leaving both lost in their own mourning. The lack of harmony between father and daughter increased as Maya sought refuge in friendships her father disapproved of. In a mix of teenage rebellion and the impulse to find her own path, Maya decided to leave her home and live with that group of friends. Unfortunately, the consequences of this choice led her down a dangerous path. Maya found herself involved with bad influences and began to commit petty crimes to support her addictions acquired during that turbulent phase. The relationship with her father quickly deteriorated and she distanced herself even further from any possibility of reconciliation. In a short time, Maya found herself lost on the streets, with no definite destination, begging and struggling to support her dependency. 
Just recently, she had made the courageous decision to break away from her addictions. She had been clean for a month and was determined to change her life. However, the shame and fear of asking for help from her father prevented her from seeking the family support she desperately needed. During the following weeks, Maya became a constant presence in Gaspar's evenings. They shared meals, conversations and moments of companionship. Maya also offered her help to Gaspar with the restaurant tasks. At times, she found comfort on the staff room sofa while Gaspar worked. Throughout these encounters, Gaspar could witness Maya's gradual transformation. He observed her inner strength growing day by day, her determination to overcome challenges and her will to build a new future. And in every conversation, Gaspar encouraged Maya to seek reconciliation with her father, believing that family love could heal old wounds. A fateful night was about to completely change the situation for Gaspar and Maya. While they shared a meal, the main door of the restaurant opened. Maya, frightened and overcome by panic, didn't hesitate to run out without even knowing who had entered. To her surprise, it was Marco, the strict owner of the restaurant, who had returned that night to retrieve some documents he had forgotten in his office. Marco was a man of rigid personality and fierce determination. He had fought arduously to achieve success, and just two years ago he had finally managed to open his restaurant, despite knowing the risks and sacrifices involved. When confronted with the scene of an unknown young woman in his establishment, Marco demanded an immediate explanation. Gaspar, sensing the imminent danger, tried to explain the situation as best as he could. However, no words seemed capable of calming Marco's fury, who felt invaded and outraged. Driven by frustration and shock, Marco made an impulsive decision. Without giving any chance for further explanations, he fired Gaspar on the spot, ending the years of dedicated work tied to the restaurant. Sadness and disappointment overwhelmed Gaspar, who felt helpless in the face of such a turnaround. He wondered how he could move forward without the job he loved so much. At the same time, Maya's absence added a touch of worry to his heart. Marco, consumed by anger and a sense of betrayal, decided to review the security camera footage in search of answers. He was determined to clarify the situation he had just witnessed and understand what had really happened. Sitting in front of the monitoring screens, Marco watched the images captured by the cameras intently. His fixed and incisive gaze sought any detail that could explain the presence of the unknown young woman in his restaurant and Gaspar's reaction to the situation. As the footage unfolded, Marco saw Maya's arrival at the restaurant and her encounter with Gaspar. He observed the shared meal, the conversations, and the connection that seemed to have been established between the two. He witnessed Maya's reaction upon seeing him, her fear, and her sudden escape. While analysing the footage, Marco became particularly intrigued by the presence of the young woman. Strangely, she seemed familiar. As he zoomed in, focusing on the young woman's face, he could hardly believe what he was seeing. Marco felt his heart freeze for a moment as he gazed intently at the image on the screen. It was undeniable. That young stranger was his daughter, Maya, who had been lost so many years ago. Tears flooded his eyes as he processed the reality before him. Disbelief mixed with a blend of joy and sorrow. For so many years, Marco had felt a void in his heart, an absence that could not be filled. He believed that Maya was lost forever, but now, before his very eyes, he saw her closer than he had ever imagined. He realised that fate had given him a second chance to rebuild his relationship with his daughter, to reconcile the troubled past and to seek a future of connection and love. Marco left the restaurant behind and walked into the streets in search of Maya. His steps were hurried, driven by the urgency to find his lost daughter. Marco walked through streets and alleys, his mind focused on the image of the young woman he had seen on the security cameras. He asked every person he met if they had seen someone with Maya's characteristics. His determination knew no bounds, and he was determined not to lose another moment with his daughter. As he ran through the streets, memories of Maya's childhood came back to Marco's mind. The happy moments with the family, the smiles and the love he felt for his daughter. He recalled the years he had tirelessly searched for her. The restaurant owner searched tirelessly for Maya on the streets, at every corner and alley, but to his deep sorrow, he could not find her. Immersed in a whirlwind of emotions, he spent hours watching the security footage. 
As he observed each moment closely, the scenes revealed a story of care and affection between Maya and Gaspar. He witnessed how Gaspar had taken in his daughter, offering her shelter, comfort and meals when she needed them most. The weight of regret overwhelmed Marco, and he decided that it was time to make peace with Gaspar. He knew he needed to find a way to redeem himself and express his gratitude for everything Gaspar had done for Maya. It was already morning when Marco went to Gaspar's house. After hearing the whole story about Maya being Marco's daughter, Gaspar could hardly believe how fate had brought the young woman to that restaurant without her knowing she belonged to her own father. Gaspar explained to Marco that he didn't know where Maya stayed during the day, but she appeared at the restaurant every night. So it was likely that when the restaurant closed its doors to the public, she would be there. Marco and Gaspar returned to the restaurant, a place that now carried so much significance in their lives. With each step they took, the anxiety and anticipation grew in their hearts. As on previous nights, Maya appeared at the large restaurant window, looking relieved to see Gaspar there. She didn't know what had happened after she ran off the previous night. Gaspar opened the door for her to enter, and in a corner of the restaurant she saw Marco, her father whom she had not seen for so many years. She hadn't recognised him the other night. Marco extended his arms and with tears in his eyes, embraced Maya tightly. Words became unnecessary at that moment. The silence of the embrace conveyed more than any speech could express. It was the language of love, forgiveness and reconciliation that filled the room. After the emotional reunion, Maya felt a profound need for explanation. She revealed her journey of suffering and regret. With a broken heart, Marco promised to support her recovery and rebuilding of life. He committed to being present for Maya, offering her a new chance to start over. And so, the restaurant, once a place of work and solitude, became a beacon of hope, love and redemption for all who crossed its path. The story of Gaspar, Marco and Maya echoed as a reminder that, even on the darkest nights, there is always a chance to find the light. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.